Um, we are live here today with our special guest, Laura Hilton, who is the head designer of Peony Patterns. And um, we are really getting to know each other better this time, and it's been so much fun. She's actually been sitting at <laughs> Sally's sewing machine. Which is so much fun. Yeah. So, sewing on a Bernina, which she doesn't own or has never used. Yeah. You yeah. weren't mad, though. Right? No, it's great. Okay. I, we, right. I'm going to have to take a picture of Sally's area. And I was like, hey, oh. just don't touch anything. <laughs> I was like, just don't get hurt. Yeah. <laughs> Did you find a pair of scissors to cut your threads? Well, I was a little, little I was like looking for some peeking shirts, and everyone's like, Sally, oh, doesn't, no, no, Sally no. doesn't have any. And no. I was like, Oh, okay. Oh. Oh. But you can stand up or, and move over to that serger. And I was a, yeah, well, and luckily, actually, you have the same setup I do where I have my sewing machine on my right and my serger on my left. Uh -huh. And I serge with my left foot and I sew with my right foot. Uh -huh. And since you can't actually move the chair over there <laughs> between the two, I was like, well, this works because I could just like. Did you actually serge something? Yeah, I did oh, serge things. Oh, my goodness. Actually, over there in yeah. that corner? <laughs> Oh, no, that's funny. I'm, I'm, it's professional. <laughs> She's yeah. a professional. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. If you can work in my area, you really are. You really are. Actually, she took a piece of scrap and was able to make a placket with a scrap. Off your, well, because oh. I forgot the placket for what I was working on, and it was just like, there's a she piece of fabric like on you. the floor. She grabbed it off the floor. She shook it off. So... <laughs> I looked at Chris and I was like, I'm going to use this. <laughs> yeah. She's like, it's fair game. <laughs> like, that's that actually, funny. that one makes Sally happy. <laughs> it does make it. me happy. Uh -huh. And I'll, I'll look around, like, if I want to mark the back of one of my granddaughter's dresses, I look around, I'm like, what do I have over here? Because I don't feel like getting up and going. I, I know, I looked at her like, what does she have? Yeah. <laughs> we, we had our good friend Jane Seeley um, was here one time, and she's the one that does all those heirloom dresses. And she said, Sally, I need a needle. Did you not have a needle? <laughs> she could not find a needle. <clears throat> oh, I think I had to open a package. Well, well, she's a big fan of Laura's. Aww. Loved her uh, Violetfield Threads makes and now loves her peony patterns. Well, thanks. Well, everybody, I'm, I'm so excited that we're here on a Tuesday and live and that Laura came all the way from Utah <coughs> and she brought... Um, Shrunk down in these bags, all the air sucked <laughs> out. <laughs> you open them up and boom, and you have these beautiful garments. But that was a good way to travel and keep everything in a yep. little place. And um, so when she said she could come and visit with us, we were excited. And um, I've been enjoying the makes that you've been doing lately because, well, I kind of like our, <laughs> I like our fabric. <laughs> That's right. terrible. Got good taste. She, she's because you have good taste. She, she's like, <laughs> yeah. Well, you know. <laughs> she's like, I didn't so... like those. Some of the other ones so much. <laughs> that sounds terrible. No, you guys have good fabric. So well, it works out really but well. it's really fun. I really do love to see you use the heirloom fabrics in a non-traditional way. I love that. Well, thank you. And they they're just stunning. But it has that same classic appeal. It does. Like it's and an you can classic. you can see yeah, mm -hmm. you can see it from a mile away that is like whoa, that's beautiful. And so I, I think it opens the door to a lot of people that have never tried heirloom fabrics because you know, that's not their area. Right. Well, and I love heirloom fabrics. I love just playing with them and like I think there's just such a mm -hmm. there's such a neat quality to them. And they really like I think lend themselves to garments so well. Like they just do like they give it such a like a weighted feel almost to like or yeah. airy but like just like a cla that classic feel. Mm -hmm. But I, I know it wasn't very fun to rip things out of a dotted Swiss though, was it? No. <laughs> that no, airy we, feel. we can talk that airy feel. Oh. That had a lot of airy feel to it. <laughs> when you threw it across the room and it got a lot of air. When I ripped a hole right through it and there was lots of air oh, all of a sudden. Oh my goodness. But so, isn't it nice to know that even a professional does those things that you're like, oh, I can't believe I did no, this. We can, we can even talk about it. It's like, it's this dress here. This is what that we're talking about. We can bring it over. We can take it off yeah. here. Um, that I did. This is actually, it's funny because it's one of my favorite um, things at the end. Too. Like the, when I took pictures of it on Bonnie, when I put mm -hmm. on Bonnie, I just loved it so much. But um, when I was making this dress, I was telling him earlier, it's like, it was a comedy of errors on this dress because, and I don't know which camera we want with this. Um, are we doing it overhead? Yeah, whenever, whenever you do it. Okay, on. we can do the overhead. If you look at it with this, this Swiss is, this is the most beautiful Swiss. It's the I most beautiful it. the color. The color is wonderful. It is just, like we were saying, it's so airy and light. And 
actually even when so when we were putting this uh, insertion lace in I really if you look I wanted it to have like when I put it on the on the bottom here you could see how you could see like the fold over and it kind of gave mm -hmm. almost a stripe effect so on this middle um, insertion I really wanted to keep it really as airy as possible mm -hmm. so I just sewed it you know right on and then I turned up into the thing on this top row though I trimmed it before I top stitched it and then once I went to top stitch it I realized I had trimmed a little like oh. I trimmed it thinking mm. I had top stitch it so I trimmed it really close and then I was like oh I didn't top stitch that so it happens and then also it's kind of funny that you can see I cut the bib wrong which is funny because this is the fourth of this dress I had made like the fourth acacia dress so I knew I knew okay, how to so make panty pa I'm gonna interrupt yeah you yeah go for it Peony Patterns is a PDF pattern company. Wonderful, wonderful garments. All for children, right? Or you have... Just you have, children. Just children. For and um, so <laughs> this is the acacia dress. So, and also is a bubble, right? Yes, bubble. there's a baby then, bubble that yeah. I made um, for one of my friend's little girls. And it was just... Yeah, oh, so just so the baby we can get... so sweet. So you know what, to, or, what yes. to order. Because yeah, so this it's is a acacia. wonderful pattern. And actually, the, I, so I made um, this set. For my friend of mine, she has mm -hmm. three little girls. And I made the bubble for her baby. And then Aww. I made one for each of the sisters. All in this is the Liberty dress. I remember yeah, there was the three. Liberty Aww. dress. And then there was Demity dress. And then there was that. The baby one was a tiny little pink. Aww. Like window pane check. Yeah. It was so. It's such right. a sweet really fabric. Sweet. Yeah, really um, sweet. And then I did this one for Bonnie after I'd already done all those. And like, so you'd think I could just do it without. I think that's the thing is I think I was mm -hmm. just doing it without thinking. But I cut the bib wrong. And so I had to take the bib I had to like seam rip the bib off, but it, this is basically like, it's kind of like almost tissue. Like it's such a beautiful airy fabric, but you can see like right back here. It's really a voile backing. You know, I, it's like, uh, a, oh, I, I do see that. I did that. Yeah. It happens. Things happen. But you know what? Bonnie, but it's Bonnie beautiful. has really long hair. Yeah, that's totally. <laughs> we <laughs> say things like that around here. We do. Like, it'll it's be gonna fine. totally we'll cover that. Put her hair up. to we'll the side. It, yeah. and we'll take a picture. <laughs> it'll be fine. But no, yeah. you couldn't see any of it in the picture. And even when she wore it, no one could tell. You know, and tell at all that it had been. But this just, 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 just was kind of a. It happens. We all have those days where you're like, like there's those old wives' tales that you're not supposed to. Do you remember what these are? You're not supposed yeah. to sew. If you have laundry in the dryer, or oh, you know right, what I mean? right, right, like, right. Like I'm sure I had done like something wrong, yeah. and I was. <laughs> you didn't do your, You didn't clear your your breakfast table. I didn't you clear the something. breakfast That's table right. before I started right. sewing, right. and so it was just nothing was going to go right that day. But it turned out beautifully. Can I ask you a question about how this is made? Yes. So, um, because I'm I'm curious actually. So is this bib sewn in a uh, sewn into here with a seam, or is it? Is it brought down and, and um, turned under and top stitched onto a yoke? It is not in the seam. It is top stitched on. Ooh, that so makes life so it's much easier. Such, this has yeah, actually, yeah. so I say I messed it up. The construction on this is actually so easy because it is, it all goes into the neckline. I love that. And then you just, you, you know, you, right. you put it on and then you top stitch it. And so you actually have, and this ruffle makes it so easy because you turn the ruffle under. Right. And that automatically gives you your seam and then you're just able to top stitch it. I love that. I might so. be willing to try that. Yeah, and the pieces but, and the pieces have, like have you ever just you have when you sew it into something, it's really hard to get. This it's really hard to get a really in, nice yeah, curve. Is, yeah, and is. that's so the thing that we really nice. try to consider when we're like mm -hmm. making patterns, mm -hmm. drafting patterns, is what is going to give people the like the beautiful look, but the easy like mm -hmm. the most effective way possible. Right. That it's not gonna you're not we don't want to throw anything so tricky at them that yeah you have to like put it in the seam and then. Half the time, it's going to end up bubbling funny. It's the way we want to make sure that they're going to get good results. Well, I feel like you want, yeah, you want them to be successful. Yes, we want we want mm -hmm. people to, when they get our patterns, to be mm -hmm. successful. Yeah, and don't you like it? Or you do like it, I think. <laughs> when, <laughs> you, like it. you do like it when do people like send it. you pictures, right? Oh, uh, we garments. love we love it when we see people yeah. post, especially like, like yeah, on our Facebook group or right. on Instagram or where we get the pictures. It's so it is really rewarding. So, especially. do they need to, in order to be a, a part of your Instagram or Facebook, they need to follow you, right? On on Instagram and and Facebook. And, on Facebook, they need to be in our Facebook group, which mm -hmm. is Peter Patterns Sewing Group. This is the name, so you can just search that and you can join there. Yeah. And so, if they're in our Facebook group, then they can just post them there and then on right. instagram 
Um, I think they don't necessarily have to follow us. They would just have to tag us okay. if they, if they so, right. I mean, follow, always following us is always a great option. Yeah. But. Yeah. That's what I think <laughs> too. Come on, follow us. Yeah. Dress. They <laughs> yeah. said it's their favorite and love to see dresses up so close. Oh, good. good. Well, thanks. I don't well, know. I love Bonnie this. Bonnie is, is how old? Bonnie is nine. She'll be 10 in very, a very few days. So oh. It makes me very sad. Wow. I know. I feel like I want to show that, um, the hem, the skirt. Oh yeah, we can look at this again. Okay. So, when you just hold it up, the light, that's so beautiful. That's, that's beautiful. Yes. I love, uh, this, well, this is one of my favorite laces you guys have. Yeah. I think it's one of um, Christmas. I think it's, I think it's one Christmas, Christmas favorite, favorite too. I love yeah. this lace. Actually, I think I got it last time I was here. Yes. And uh -huh. um, I think I forgot to send it to you, and I had to send it separate. I, I think <laughs> yeah, it's because the open. I think the I got home. I was like, did you steal my so lace? So beautiful. I it's, love the open, the open island. And I, when I loved it with this, because it is such an airy fabric. Yeah. Um, that, see that, that it has that, that yeah. really airy yeah. quality to That's it. It's really pretty. Because I had some other, I mean, I have mm -hmm. lots of laces from you guys. And of course, as you know, I'm a very big fan of the Swiss laces. So I have, yeah, I, I am too. I have a lot of the Swiss laces, but I felt like this one really had that really airy. And actually, we can show this too. Um, yeah, if you look at the lining, I like the lining. I like what you did I here. I don't know if you can tell, the lining is a very different color than. I mean, it's not very it's more different. Blue. It's a blue, and this is like a very minty aqua color, and this is very much like a baby blue. Mm -hmm. And um, I did that because I tried a lot of things, and we do that too. Yeah, and like, I like that it. That's pretty. I felt like it grounded this Swiss a lot, especially since I was putting it on Bonnie, and she is a little older. Mm -hmm. um, because this is this color in and of itself is it's beautiful, but it is very like a very sweet pastel, mm -hmm. and I think it would be beautiful on babies and younger girls, especially like when I put the white behind it, mm -hmm. it made it really just like, well, you can kind of see it here. Uh -huh. It'll be white fabric right yeah. there. Like you can see the difference <laughs> oh, though. Oh, it does make like, a big see difference. difference between having oh, white underneath it yeah. versus having big, big the blue. Difference. I love that. And I love, it just changes the shade of it, this. It makes the little dots have more texture. And we're going to be talking about another dress. This oh, we is, can, yeah, so no, we can go to that. Goodness, I think we've so covered this the way we The way we change the shade. Well, I feel like too, I mean, cause I'm getting into something I don't really know anything about, but like your, your own colors and what you have to wear. And I feel like you can do that and make it suit somebody's mm -hmm. right because you can pick the undertone. Yes. Yeah. Like you can that, take a right. fabric that's that right. maybe doesn't work as well, <clears throat> but if you know that they have a certain undertone right. that they need, are you talking about this one? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were talking about this dress. Love, love, love this so dress. Our oh, supplier my. calls this the Sally fabric. Yeah. They, well, they banged it because I, I've ordered every single piece that she's ever had well, and she just went to Spain mm -hmm. and came back with several hundred more yards of it for me. And she said, I found the Sally fabric. Uh -huh. And I'm like, good. But we're also going to have it in black, which won't that be interesting? Oh, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. I want it. I think actually it should be called the Laura fabric. Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> I was like, the Sally fabric? That's not See fair. if they can. Sarah Laura fabric. Yeah, there, there we go. go. Look, at, look at this. I, I'm like, this is wonderful to me. So this dress, um, when I went to make it for Bonnie, I wanted to actually have it have like a blush feel. Like we were, mm -hmm. she was wearing it to a wedding and I wanted, and I knew the colors of the wedding were like had pink and I didn't want it to, and I didn't want her wearing a white, all white dress mm -hmm. to the wedding mm -hmm. either. Um, so I added this, so this netting is like, it's just so beautiful. It's like a creamy, mm -hmm. cause it's not a straight white, but it's mm -hmm. not really, it's like a creamy, like off white, mm -hmm. but then the lace and then the lace details, they accrue, but I actually added the pink bobbinet underneath that, just one single layer gathered. I mean, that, that's and look at that. magical, honestly. And it does, yes. like, especially in person. Like, I don't know if you can see it as well with the cameras, but it just, when she moves, it kind of, like, changes. Well, we, we said it almost looks like striped or something, but it's only because the bobbinet is so lightweight and so sweet and pastel blush, but when it folds over... Yeah, then and I gathered and I did gather bit. them separately, which yeah. also gives. I think that makes a difference. So too. it makes it so they are they're different. So yeah. it like yeah. makes it very through yeah. here. Oh Anna my! Says she loves sewing with that lace. It's such. Oh, it good. is. I love yeah. this lace. I feel like you must have like jumped when you had this idea. I <laughs> like when it came together and I saw it. I was just like, oh. and actually, so I, don't know, I was telling you guys, this is kind of fun. So this is the dandelion dress, and um, it has this beautiful. Here we can waistband are we right there we go or whatever oh it has a waistband i thought yes. why did you sew that no so it has a oh waistband oh my goodness and when i went to right. do it when i went to do the waistband and in my mind i wanted the lace to flow through the bodice so in my mind <laughs> i made the waistband and then 
I overlaid the waistband and then I overlaid the main bodice and I sewed them together matching up <laughs> the legs. <laughs> and, and and did she need to do that? No. No, no, no. Really. I could have just sewn and so and I did the, the waistband, <laughs> the fabric I used for the waistband is blush. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. the other fabric mm -hmm. is more of like an ivory. Yeah. Um and so I wanted the waistband to kind of just ever so slightly hang out. But yeah, I could have just sewn the waistband and then put the entire overlay over the whole thing. If anybody does this do like I say and not like I do. <laughs> yes, it's cute. Just yeah. do it. Oh, so, and this is kind of, so this back, I love the back of this dress. It actually just has this um, open back. There's pictures of Bonnie wearing it without this lace part here. And it sits really pretty and big and open. Mm -hmm. uh, Bonnie wanted to wear this dress to church after mm -hmm. the wedding. And mm -hmm. she actually wanted, like, I actually, I love open. And I know it's like kind of a controversial thing. Some people don't. Some people do. Everyone has. I love open backs. I think they're so pretty. Um, but Me she and Sally like to argue about open backs. <laughs> yes, I know. It's it's like, but she personally wanted a little more coverage, and I I completely support that. So I um, just took this. It's the last. It was the last little mm -hmm, bit I had mm -hmm. at the bottom of this, because and I this just fabric has borders on each side, yes. so you you can use it. So I just um, sweet. I sewed just this little strip. It's still just a piece of elastic, right. a little bit gathered, a little uh -huh. bit of the lace. And when she wears it, it just exactly kind of covers the back, mm -hmm. and it just makes it like and when it's on her, it all pulls. Mm -hmm. So it just makes it so that it has a tiny little mm -hmm. back opening. Mm -hmm. And I think for for church, she just felt a little more comfortable with it like that. Um, so it just depends on, and that's the thing, like it, open backs can always be modified. Like, right, like right. I feel like that's kind of the nice thing is if, if there's that. a pattern that has, <laughs> I, do. I, I love, love this I dress. love this dress. And actually when I took this out of Bonnie's closet, she saw me taking it <laughs> and she gave me this look and she said, you're banging that back, right? <laughs> I was like, yes, honey, I'm banging it back. Because oh, she's still traumatized so from the last pretty. time I left her favorite dress here. unannounced oh did you leave what, what'd you i leave? left uh juniper hair for like a, like oh, a week oh, or I something remember. you sent it back with my lace yes you kept that yeah <laughs> that you stole from me yeah <laughs> so yeah well, nancy says the dress is gorgeous oh, thank and you and dixon says she loves the bobinet from farmhouse it's so beautiful I'm it's really soft isn't i it? agree i love it's it soft. it's really soft yeah. and i love that it's so soft because yeah. we can like you can use it a lot of places. I think that well, one of my vendors sent me a page with, and, and it was just like kind of like little pieces pleated up and stapled to a page, and I'm like, oh, these are wonderful. And you know, back when I was really a purist, I wouldn't have looked twice at them because they're not cotton. And I'm thinking, oh, I can't have anything that's not cotton. That's not cotton. Except her, her shirt and her pants. Yeah, that's everything I wear. Right? <laughs> no. and, she and that's the stuff for her. Yeah, yeah. and then. Um, it's so wonderful and it's so affordable and it creates these gorgeous dresses and how many years ago did we make beach dresses for all of our grand my granddaughters out of that and they just their moms can throw them in the washer yeah and I'm a they're done heirloom <clears throat> yeah i've gone through all my children yeah. Yeah. yeah and then they can wear them like dress up and you're not thinking i paid ten thousand dollars for that fabric. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> And so, so um, it happen. but it's pretty, mm -hmm. it's really pretty. So what is happening at pantypatterns.com? Dot com or like on our Facebook. What's, what's going on? What's going world? on right yeah. now? Um, one thing we're starting, which is kind of fun is we just launched, um, today a fun January challenge with our, with our Facebook group. You can also enter on Instagram. Um, I don't know if you guys want to, you want to see yeah. this? Oh, yeah. We can, we can kind of explain it real quick, but, um, or I don't know, but that way you can see it for a minute. Um, so to enter it, what you're going to do is you will f go to Pinterest and you, you have to find something on Pinterest. This is oh, mine. Oh, that's cute. Um, an idea, <clears throat> something that you have mm -hmm. pinned. We were requiring to make sure that people um, don't, you can't take uh, a pin from like a small sewing shop or like a small boutique brand or another company's sewing page, you know, things like that. But ready to wear like bigger name things your pin and so you take your inspiration piece and then during all of january people can sew up their inspiration piece and then and then post it on um either on instagram or in our facebook group and you just want to make sure the hashtag which we can put we'll put lots of places but it's this peony um, pinterest challenge right here and um yeah and then at the end of the month we will go ahead and we'll pick three winners and the three winners all get 
two free peony patterns and then a $30 gift card to Farmhouse. So thank you guys for that. Right. And uh, so I think it'll be a lot of fun. This is mine, this yellow, this little yellow dress. And so I was actually shopping for it here today. And so I picked... We'll put this information on so that everybody can see it. So what I'm going to do is I picked this yellow satin batiste. Satin batiste is so soft and so pretty mm -hmm. and so perfect for babies. And mm -hmm. I got matching um, piping. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to use our acacia baby pattern. Like it's like this, the mint dress back here, this one with the bib, um, to mimic the bib on my inspiration piece. And so I'm going to do that. And then I will add a skirt instead of the romper, which, um, our honeysuckle baby romper is a skirted romper. Mm -hmm. So anyone mm -hmm. trying to do that, if you don't know how to, you know, like if you didn't know how to just add a skirt in, you could easily just go use the, the honeysuckle. And then I'm going to use our daffodil baby bloomers to make the little bloomer set for this little baby Cute. piece. And I think it'll be really sweet. And then we have, um, the azalea hand embroidery pattern that has little petite flowers that I'll embroider on. So I think this will be a fun little <coughs> Challenge. That'd be really pretty. Pretty. And we're really looking forward to seeing what people come up with and I, what I what their inspirations mm -hmm. are because it's so fun. I think a lot of you know, like most people have a Pinterest board with things that they've mm -hmm. seen and love and mm -hmm. and so why not, you know. Well with the number of pattern styles that you have, it shouldn't be hard to find something to work yeah. from. Yeah, a start, hopefully a starting point. Hopefully. And then also it's kind of fun because it kind of gives us new ideas of, oh, maybe we, yeah. maybe we need a pattern that does that yeah. if we don't have one. In fact, I, I have, I have an idea of something I want you to do. Oh. <laughs> good to I know. put you on the spot or Yeah, anything. good to know. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to want this. <laughs> Are we telling me now or is that something we'll talk about it later? Well, no, I can tell you now because I, <laughs> I made, I love vintage patterns, you mm -hmm. know, and I love the different, the different parts and pieces of them and so I've made um dresses for Kristen's girls and and they have had a rolled collar and it came down to a little bit v in the back you know and mm -hmm. the rolled collar is just a just a rectangle cut on the bias but we have had so much interest in that and I mean wow, people honey. all the time yeah. I, I bet a week doesn't go by that we haven't had people ask mm. us about that okay. well we'll have to look into yeah. that yeah because I think we always could, like a good color you could take almost any of your patterns any kind of a yoke or bodice dress or anything mm -hmm. and just you know cut that but see I don't want to take the time to <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't want to take that I don't want to do that I don't want to take the time to although I have to make it the neck a little bit larger, I have measured it and, and added to it because I do a lot of switching up. But yeah, you do. Um, yeah. yeah. So how but is I that mean, different that be... from like a cowl? Because I'm just looking at your your top and thinking. Well, it is kind of it is a cowl. It it works like that okay. where it, it's, it's just, just tall and laps and it over. laps over. It's mm -hmm. a doubled and it's on cut on the bias and then. But I like the way it, a little bit of V in the mm -hmm. back is really sweet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Especially we've... for an older girl, mm -hmm. like I feel like showing that. Yeah. It's like a mature look. And they looked, I don't know, look so grown up. And, and right now, it's acceptable. You know, it's that right time of the right time of the change. So it takes of, you like, what, a week to put a pattern together, right? Yeah. Have I'll, I'll have week. it for you next week. <laughs> no you. problem. Thank you. You just draw it up on the plane just, on the way I'll home. Just, just get it You're done. Not busy. No. <laughs> so how many garments did you sew this week? Uh, this week? I mean this year. This oh. year. Well, this year yeah. or, or last no, year? last year. Last year, I'm Actually, sorry. I'd like to know both of them. Yeah, both of them. Yeah. Um, and this week. How about today? <laughs> today, I did not finish one pattern today. <laughs> I did get to sew it in Sally's sewing corner today. Did we talk about that already? <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. goodness. Yeah, it was. Oh, yeah, we did. You didn't take pictures, right? I I actually, I took it. I sent it to the group chat. Oh. <laughs> I was like, oh. I was like, yeah, I was like, I'm in Sally's sewing corner. And I took a picture, and it's it's nice. I'm embarrassed. No, don't. <laughs> I used it's, to tell it's, people It's my that, style. I'm totally that, like, um, I, you're at they, home over there. I'm at home over there. It's fine. <laughs> when um, when we when we first started our business and we had the the shop of that addition onto our house, mm -hmm. there was like a French door that led into my sewing room. Never should have done that. Oh my goodness! It was beautiful though. The door is beautiful, <laughs> and all the the husbands would come with their wives and they just stand there, <laughs> staring through that door. <laughs> and I said. We have this here so that you won't give your wives a hard time about their sewing room. Right? No, I, like, mine is, mine, my sewing room is like upstairs tucked in the back corner oh, where nobody like... Nobody has yeah, to see it. Nobody has to right. see it. Right. Oh my goodness. It's not there. Anyway, but we were... Oh, last year. 
Yeah. The grand total came in at 133 finished projects. Wow. Yes. Wow. And that, but that does include, um, that's not all. My husband was like, you sewed Bonnie 133 dresses. Oh. <laughs> I was like, well, no. That's, that's He's like, funny. I don't feel like there's that many. I was like, no, I did not. No, um, that includes, uh, there's a lot of projects in there. And that's a lot of samples too. Because I, I, you know, I sample I most all the, do mock-ups and sample all the things. Do you want to move on to this? this no, love. keep talking. I'm no, just no, kind of showing. Just, she's just getting so I'm excited over here. I love, no. She loves pink. I know. Well, and the fun I'm thing pink. though was I did um, a couple of those. I sewed, well, I'm actually really proud of it. And I don't even have pictures of them. Um, my daughter was in the uh, production of the Nutcracker. Bonnie was in the Nutcracker. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, <laughs> shockingly, I was put on the costume committee because all the parents have to be on committees for it. And um, I was on the costume committee and two of the ornaments needed new costumes this year. And I um, I don't love knit. It's not like my my jam. So I, um, but I took, they just gave me, they sent me the girls' measurements and they said, make these. And I, so I drafted these two, just like, they're these, they were like red sequiny, a little like, and they, but when they were dancing up on stage in those costumes, they were like, they were beautiful. And I was like, probably like one of the proudest things mm -hmm. I've sewn because it was like, they had the little, like, you know, just like the little boy short bottoms on the top and the, like rows of sequiny mm -hmm. ruffles and they were just beautiful but that like it was just something it's a big deal and it was be passed down yeah well and that's the thing they do use them year after yeah. year but also just that like it was something that kind of challenged me a little bit mm -hmm. that i had to even the fabric did. probably yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like all of it like i did draft for yeah. knit which i yeah. don't mm -hmm. typically do and then you know and then sew the knit and get out my double needle and I mean twin mm -hmm. needles and all those kinds of things so so do you have um that just made me think do you do you have patterns that are specific for knits or not well we do have knit dress patterns mm -hmm. we don't yet have um like knit like swimsuit or um like because these were like leotard yeah, type patterns yeah. we I mean definitely that's you know we will mm -hmm. um, yeah so that's definitely on the list of things we want to definitely have in our catalog. Um, so that'll be kind of a fun thing to bring in. Um, does Peony Patterns ever retire patterns? We have retired a few. Um, now, why do you do that? <laughs> <laughs> why do you do that? Why do you do that? <laughs> why do I do um, The biggest reason... I've always, I've always been puzzled by that. Well, it, I mean, not you, but, but any... Right. Any, um, well, I think one yeah, of the reasons, company. though, is sometimes um, they just, sometimes they don't hold up to the standard that we want to hold sometimes. I mean, like, all our patterns, we really, we like to, you know, we like to release with a high standard. I think some of the ones that we have retired, we have pulled because we plan to make, reinvent, reinvent make mm -hmm, them better, make mm -hmm. it a better pattern. Um Or, I mean, like, have, there's just a better way, and we know there's a better mm -hmm. way, and so we don't want people buying something where we know there's a better way or there's a better fit we really are like big on fit and so if if something's coming up and then after a while we're like well that just we you know it just i don't know okay i can understand that i don't know sometimes or sometimes we're just like no i don't like that anymore <laughs> <laughs> i can understand that we, we don't want yeah. that it's like it's like when there's something in your closet i don't know I don't know. There's probably lots of reasons. So, so who is excited about the baby suit? She said that baby suit. Look at this. Isn't this the cutest thing? So if you know Christy Newsom, who works here, she's a grandma. And her daughter, two weeks old, right? Oh, she came in she today? She came in today, and we're looking like, oh, I think this would fit her. It's a tiny, it would, sweet, it sweet It wouldn't even thing. fit her. This would, like, dr even this tiny oh. little thing would drown so that sweet girl. Oh, 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 oh. So, so, so tell cute. us about this precious little thing. This is a pattern oh, name, right? I love this, bubbles. This is Buttercup. Okay. Here, oh. and we can, I don't know. Do you want to pull in close on it? Bubble Nancy bumper. said, I hope that bubble in Sally's hand comes in a size 18 and 24 months. I love it. It goes up to a size 4. Oh. It starts newborn to size 4. And it has, um, there's lots of options with it. It has a split bodice option also. I made the the full, this is the simple bodice option, but I don't feel like I it's. I love that. I love, I love the vintage feel it has. I added just um, this lace mm -hmm. into the, mm -hmm. it's just sewn right into the seam. Right. Um, and then, like. And then I used, um, there's that, you guys have that feather pin. Am I going to say it right? It's pin feather baby pin cord. Pin feather baby cord. And it's a poly cotton. Oh, yeah. and I 
Love it. It, ha so it has Did you such line? a... No, the back's not lined. No, so the bottom is not lined. So because it has a lot of body to it. Yeah, well, oh, because this cord so has a cute. this cord has a lot of body yeah. to it. I love yeah. the like the body of this cord. Look and then, yeah, that. it has... I did do... Um, cam snaps? I did cam snaps on the diaper part. Mm -hmm. And then I did mm -hmm. use that same... Oh, I like Liberty that. on Liberty the leggings. For the bias. Yes, and then oh, how cute. On, on the back. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. like that touch. Yeah, and That's this is nice. kind of fun. Um, you might have noticed I'm getting into baby clothes because I'm actually going to be a grandma this Ooh, summer. Ooh, congratulations! Thank you. We're very. Uh, it's it's very exciting to yeah. be entering that stage That's of life right. and being a grandma and. It's fun to get to sew all the baby things again. Mm. I don't actually know if she's having a boy or a girl yet, but but a baby's coming. <laughs> but a baby's but coming, we're so we're sewing pretty things, <laughs> and I'm putting we're all the good old girl clothes. Like if you put out the good girl vibes, you get yeah. right. Maybe okay. we're crossing everything over here. Uh -huh. <laughs> the, all the good sewing vibes. I love this. What? The little ruffles on here. That's so cute. Now this reminds me of a vintage pattern I, I sewed up for one of my granddaughters. So I'm I'm loving that you have this because now available for everybody. Yeah. And I do this is so I mean this is so sweet. This is so sweet, this tiny, tiny size. But it actually is really like up to size four is really sweet on those little mm -hmm. and this pattern actually comes with there's different options. So I did I the ruffles on the bum here um are not necessarily part of the pattern. I just sewed those on before mm -hmm. I did it because I love little I love little ruffles. Yeah, yeah. But it does come with um the pattern does include leg ruffles right here mm -hmm. and then ruffles on the straps too. Oh cute. And it also has a sweetheart neckline. So it has a lot of options. So right. you can make it for boys oh. too. People have made it for mm -hmm. boys. There's also a pocket. Mm -hmm. So you can mm -hmm. totally make it for like a little boy when you know but then it has all the it has all the sweet girly options too. Oh, man. So well, I love your choice of everything on I, here. I love this this print. Yeah, it's sweet. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Y'all get lost in the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh yes. This, this oh, look, at, oh. look at this Swiss lace. <laughs> <laughs> well, while we're talking about that, you should show this because this, this I love. It's the it's the start of a a doll dress, right? No, this it's is the start this of a, is a baby. baby. Oh my heavens! This is a size. Oh my This is a goodness. size six month what? baby romper. Oh. It's um, it's this is this is a the poppy <laughs> pattern, and so it has just a little bubble. I did add a little skirt to oh, that part, man. but we're just right here with it right now. Um, so it's gonna just be a sweet, and it'll actually match this Dahlia dress that I made, Bonnie. Which we can take down. Yeah, we've got to talk about this. This is really pretty. We've had a lot of phone calls about the Dahlia dress. This is actually, I love, Dahlia is probably my favorite. How sweet. Well, it's my favorite pattern because probably it's my newest one. <laughs> yeah. Like, let's be honest, but it yeah. is my favorite. Yeah. I love Dahlia so much. Um, I want to know if you have directions for the back ruffle. For the back ruffle on the bubble? Mm -hmm. Um... It does not, it's not included. Take your blue pen, draw two straight yep. lines. Yep, that is all it is. <laughs> I, I lit it is, um, I used a heat pen, but I just yeah. drew before, like before I put the elastic and stuff mm -hmm. in it, and actually even before I, like, before I attached it to the front, so when it was just one mm -hmm. bloomer mm -hmm. piece, I just drew two lines straight across it, mm -hmm. and then I, um, I actually used the line on this side. So she surged the top of the... Um, I surged the top of the lace. lace. And I, I put, aligned it, the lace facing up along mm -hmm. those lines I drew, drew. And then I sewed it down. And then I folded it down and top stitched it. So you can but you see. gathered it up a little bit first. Um, I did gather up mm -hmm. a little bit first, yeah. Mm -hmm. like I can tell this point. I was yeah. checking that out. <laughs> yeah, no, I, got, I did a little gather. And actually mm -hmm. the gather amount was exactly how much lace I had left after making oh. this dress <laughs> cut, cut into. Yeah. That's, yeah. That is, I gathered right. it so that I just took whatever, I, after I made this dress, this is the lace that matches uh -huh. that I had left and I just cut it in half and I gathered it to the amount that mm -hmm. would fit. Mm -hmm. And that is the, that's how much is gathered. They want so. enough, the Keisha will be a sew along. Um, Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um we can bump i if it wasn't already i can't always remember which ones we've sewn along already and which ones we haven't um if we haven't already we definitely will um i think especially where acacia is such a good spring dress i think it makes such a lovely easter dress it has lots of options because it can be sleeveless or short sleeved or long sleeved it works really well for all the different kind of 
temperatures. So I have face. a question. Mm -hmm. How do you how do you run your sew alongs? Um, in case nobody, in case they haven't yeah, tried it Yeah, so there it is a sew along group mm -hmm. um, specifically for that, and um, which you can join Peony Pattern Sew Along Group, I believe is the name. Mm -hmm. I'll start typing it. Like, <laughs> sew Along with Peony, Peony Patterns, I think. Okay, something like that. Um, we have, we actually, um, Ashley does our sew alongs, and she is just absolutely amazing. She's, she does just such great work, and she explains it all so well, so we're really lucky to have her on our team. Um, so every single day, you know, like the first day, it's, you know, pick your fabrics and then it's cut out your, your pattern and things like that. And so just runs, she runs day by day, um, just like showing really clear videos on how mm -hmm. to put everything together. Mm -hmm. And then in the, in the group too, it'd have the archives of all the ones we've done before. So even if, you know, if there is one we've done, you can go back and look through her That's video good. tutorials. And I believe they're also on our YouTube channel now. Judy on Instagram, she said, I just love the Peony Patterns YouTube channel, so along with Ashley. Yes. Oh, good. So you can join the group or you can just, and, and the group is fun because usually there are like, at the end, people who've completed it and post their completed thing, they get to enter to win, you know, little things. And there's specific discount codes for different companies and things like that throughout the so long. So if you're in the group, it's really fun. If you don't want to join the group, we do have a YouTube channel. It links from our website too. Um, and most... Most all, if not all, the sew alongs are there now, and we are working on making sure they're all there if they're not Natasha all there Tasha posted a link to the sew along. Oh, good. Thanks, good. Tash. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Yep. Okay. Um, where were we? Let's, we this one. We this need to talk about be, this, yeah. don't we, yeah. Dahlia? Okay, so. What do we want to talk about with Dahlia here? This beautiful well, the sleeve. Did you want to talk yeah, about the sleeve yeah, first? This the sleeve. sleeve. Oh, my goodness. I love this sleeve. Um, the Dahlia comes in a short sleeve and then this elbow sleeve. And actually I very rarely make the short sleeve because I just, I love this elbow sleeve so much. It's kind of so elegant. It's one of the, like when we made it here, yeah, we can put it down this way. Um, it has just a lot of like puff up and then it has mm -hmm. this little elastic gather right here. That's, oh, that's so, elastic. It's just elastic and it's so oh, like, especially when you follow the, the there. it's so easy to do. So you just take your little piece of elastic that is the whatever measurement mm -hmm. and sew right over the top of it mm -hmm. stretch it, it out it's all, all the measurements so are in the pattern it's super easy it. the outside of the sleeve longer or does it ruche up like it, ruche, it pulls it up just a little, little bit it just and it pulls it up just a little so bit that it really cute. just gives i just i don't know i'm I just i keep sleeve. i just want to keep putting this sleeve on mm. everything all the time i wow. love the body at the shoulder i do That's and beautiful. one thing we were talking about is um kristen was saying that we could put um, like bobinet inside mm -hmm, the mm -hmm, inside mm -hmm. of this sleeve, which I think would yes. actually work really well because it would just like some yeah. fabrics like 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 that baby pin cord um, actually would be amazing or like mm -hmm, the fabrics with mm -hmm. a lot of body yeah. hold this sleeve mm -hmm. really beautifully. Um, some of our testers did some amazing ones with like silks, like satins mm -hmm. that just like but the ones with like the really pretty body. Um, but you could also put like the little bit of bobinet and mm -hmm. that I think that would hold it up really nicely. Um, and then. It has one of the things I do love, and this is that open back again, but I do love this. This one I love because it's just kind of a very little bit, and then this little bow kind of ties it close. And what I love about this bow, when I did this, um, there was a little bit of debate about making like a big bow in the pattern versus the littler bow. And I did the bit, the littler bow because um, I think it just works really well for older girls. And I think it's just like, especially since Bonnie's kind of getting that, older age I just love that it gets still a really sweet pretty bow but it mm -hmm. kind of just like holds mm -hmm. it and I love that this dress doesn't have a placket <laughs> can I tell you oh <laughs> like now, next time you come, you'll be, you, you're showing me all your buttons and buttonholes. Plackets are so easy. No, I, I do. You know, you can I do plackets do, do, do. all the time. Do, do. But, and actually, so, <laughs> funny story. I apparently, I'm, I always like to show, show all my dirty laundry on this show. Um, I made this dress for uh, Tasha's little girl, Ellie, for Christmas. You guys shared it. It's that beautiful, is that plaid. the plaid uh -huh. that you guys have. And on autopilot, I make the skirts first because. I love making bodices. I hate making skirts. They kind of like, they're like drudgery. Like hemming a skirt is drudgery for me. So I always make the skirts first. So on autopilot, when I made the skirt for that dress, I the put placket. a placket in it. <laughs> and then I made the bodice. And then I looked and I was like. Oh. And you had to go back and sew it up. and No, put... I left it. Oh. <laughs> I was like, I just like 
sorry. Oh. I'm like, it's a design. It's well, a, because I it closed and it. And it's your friend, so you, right. you can get away with she it. Can, but, huh. yeah, she wasn't. That's, this is why I don't sew for people. Yeah. Like, this is, like, people are like, why don't I'm like, because I put a placket in a skirt that doesn't need one. And then I'm like, I'm oh not going to fix goodness. that. But you, I just... I just closed it up yeah. and you couldn't even, you could not see it at all. Unless just you... next time flip it over and add it to the other side leg. <laughs> you could have two sides. Flip. I was like, it's a design feature now. <laughs> That's what... no, but, uh... It wouldn't be hard. I know you lined the bodice. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't be hard to put a lining on the skirt, would it? No, not at all. Just you could totally some, line the skirt. Somebody was asking about that. Yeah. No, today. you could definitely, all you have to do is, um, put it underneath there yeah, and sew it on because right. it that's is right. just and especially without the placket i think sometimes mm -hmm. linings with plackets can get a little like yeah, tricky you like a little yeah bit. you have to decide <laughs> if you're gonna like make each one have its own placket uh -huh. or if you're gonna like sew them together mm -hmm. and then put them in one mm -hmm. placket but with then there's no placket you can tell you can you could put oh my goodness you could put all the layers you want so this would actually lend itself really well to like a tutu dress where you have like tons of layers of like right. tool because you don't have to put the placket in the tool yeah so Natasha said they love that uh, design, <laughs> that design feature. Yeah. I know yeah. you do. <laughs> um, so this, this is really cute. How you, you put your, um, Swiss edging flat on top of the gathered. Uh, I like that. I think it's pretty. I, I really loved, um, when on I, top of the gathered. Rubber. Yeah. I loved when I did, when, when I, when I thought to do together. this because it really, well, because I wanted to use this mm -hmm. and I thought about putting it on the bottom of the skirt. And this mm -hmm. is actually the acacia skirt on the Dahlia bodice. So it's the exact same skirt as the other little, um, the Swiss dress. Oh, okay. It's the exact same skirt. I just took it. The, the only difference is I didn't put a placket in it. Right. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I wanted to put this, this edging on it, but I wanted the edging to pop more. And I felt like it kind of got lost at the mm -hmm. bottom. And so I felt mm -hmm. like bringing it up one layer really just gave it I think impact. So, so. so what did you do here? It looked like piping when we first saw it. <laughs> there was some discussion on this one. Yeah. Um, and so the same thing with this. And actually, you can see it here. When I first put, um, when I first put this lace on the bodice, mm -hmm. I had it just like it is on this one with nothing underneath it. And when I looked at it, I felt like I really wanted this lace to showcase just a little more. And so I was saying it's almost like a drop shadow. I just took a tiny little strip of this blue mm -hmm. and I just folded it in half and I just tucked it in there. Um, so right is, it, it. is it the, the edge of this or is it, it your is, blue fabric that you did It's the blue fabric that I used for the tie. tie. Right. Yep. Very so cute. it's just the same. And so the, but I love that it kind of gave it just, just right. the little pop of that. Yeah. Along there. I mean, it showed. Even though it's really subtle, yeah, it makes a difference. Because well, yeah, I didn't want it to be like a big. I I wanted the whole thing about this to be very just like subtle. Mm -hmm. Um, and this is one of my other favorite Swiss lace. Yeah, <laughs> really? this it's pretty. It's pretty. It's, it is really pretty as a band. It I think it works really here. nicely as the band, and that. But yeah, this is exactly like how this is attached just the same way. This mm -hmm. is. Attached. I love the little tiny edging that you added up at the, oh, the top on this ruffle. One? Yeah, that's mm -hmm. sweet. Yes, I love these. And then that will be on the skirt too when I finish this oh, one cute. for cute. for baby girl. That was cute. Baby girl. Yeah. Baby girl. <laughs> baby girl. Baby girl. Um and so yeah and this that. this is actually one of my favorite of your guys' fabrics. I've had it I bought it in yellow. Actually I think the very I think one of the very first things I ever bought from you guys was this fabric in yellow. Um, which is right There's here. Yellow, yeah. Here's the yellow. Mm -hmm. I used it in our, um, I made a, um, gardenia dress with this in yellow and it was just, it's so, it's just so like these, that Swiss, these back. always, mm -hmm. yeah, the scoot that. back mm -hmm. with the, with the, the little ruffle. ruffle. Mm -hmm. I love the back of that dress and it has like the tiny little ruffle on the sleeves. Mm -hmm. It's just such a delicate dress. And I love that these, these to me are like, I was saying like the ultimate, like Easter, yeah spring they feel like this one's inside out so let's just yeah flip, we should flip, flip it, it so prettier you can see the dots, so you can see the dots. But, and it is and there's, there's also white, white. white there's white yeah, on white which white. i think is just beautiful mm -hmm. and then the pink i know i was saying i was gonna have to take the pink home with me today <laughs> <laughs> because the pink is yeah, just they're all the colors are so mm -hmm. beautiful and then the texture is just gorgeous and, yeah. and it's the swiss so and it doesn't really swiss. wrinkle all that much no like when i got here right and everything had to be, you know, fixed after being mm -hmm. suctioned, in, <laughs> suctioned into things. Uh, this dress really, like, I just yeah. put a little bit of, mm -hmm. I just used a little bit of steam and it looked the whole thing, it felt better. So it's really, I do That's love good. that. I love these a lot. Beautiful. Okay. Um, 
So I, I want to know how you adapted, because that's not the same dress that I first saw. Oh, the yes. Pink one on I the brought wall. this one with me last time I was here. We have. Do we have a picture? Do we have a picture? Do we no. have a picture of that? I can no. pull one up. Okay. Um, because originally this so this dress, um, was originally a juniper dress. Mm -hmm. This summer I made it for Bonnie, um, because she loves. She's super into ballet. She always has been. Um, like her first fourth birthday party was a Nutcracker themed birthday party, and she had a full like sugar plum fairy tutu. And anyway, um, so I made her this ballet inspired. Are you finding it for me? I am. You are. Yes. Thank you. Uh -huh. All right. So this here we can turn it like. Can we... So dark. Why is it so dark? Yeah. Does that help it? No. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, so here's the original. It was short and it has these really juniper. I love mm -hmm. the back of juniper. It has this really beautiful um, back and it has the elastic again, so it also doesn't have to have a placket. Oh, that one has like several rows of elastic. Several in the rows back. of mm -hmm. elastic in the back, and then it has the tie at the shoulder. And for these, for this one. You can see I left it. Mm -hmm. um, it's actually a narrower tie since I didn't actually finish. It kind of just made that tool really, really um, soft and frothy. But when I took her to the Nutcracker this year um, in Salt Lake, she wanted a pink T-length dress. And so um, we, I took, I took that juniper dress because I really didn't like. She wasn't really gonna necessarily wear it again. Mm -hmm. Um, and I love, I love upcycling things. I often even like, will go to Target's clearance section and try to just find something on super clearance that I can turn into something. I think I've done that with like, there's a green dress that I use some of your guys' Betsy to do that. Anyway, so I had just enough of this left to do with this bottom tier right here on it. Um, so I took, this is the original dress. All I did was I cut one more length of the bottom tier and that was decided mm -hmm. the length on that was decided that because a she wanted t-length so it needed to be longer and also the amount of fabric i had left mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> like how yeah. how many times can i cut that to make sure it still gathers um and then i just added you can actually see it here it's not even the same because i didn't have the same lining fabric but you couldn't even really tell mm -hmm. it's actually the original hem and i just added more lining to it to make mm -hmm. it the t-length and then i took um because that sh that dress has the open shoulders I cut off the ties and I zigzagged it closed <laughs> because that's what we did. And then I added that dahlia sleeve, yeah, that three fourths sleeve. dahlia sleeve. That's beautiful. That's and pretty. it really, like, it was just so, she felt like such a princess. And when you do the dahlia sleeve in something like this tool, I did use like the clear elastic. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it yep, just totally, nice. like, it, yeah, it just totally like mm -hmm. blends it in. It just gives it kind of a really neat look so did she love it she loved oh she mm -hmm. she, was, mm -hmm. she was just like Aww. in heaven and just was like twirling everywhere because it's super twirly now with the mm -hmm. third i mean it was twirly mm -hmm. before but um yeah yeah that that's was really pretty. fun that's pretty it was fun to add to that i love the sheer sleeve mm -hmm. I, I love i know you guys need to find this fabric again again <laughs> And I need you to find it in every color. Oh. <laughs> and you, he make requests, I'll make requests. Yeah. I need you to find me <laughs> this, like in every variation possible. And then we're good. <laughs> I love it. I probably could find some. Right. There. I like that challenge. Like, yeah. I love that fabric. Yeah. But yeah, but I do love, I love taking like something we already have. And I do try to repurpose a lot of her dresses mm -hmm. because I do so, so many. And she doesn't really wear them a lot. Mm -hmm. So I do like mm -hmm. a lot of them, you know go to friends or family but so the little hyacinth back here yes <clears throat> that was um, that on the uh, one of the spring you can see, just pull it off oh, yeah I'll hang on to it and you can talk okay. about it okay you you had a spring yeah we teamed up with you guys yeah. with some of our mm -hmm. promo sewers mm -hmm. to do a spring sew um, promotion and we just we saw a bunch of spring dresses I love this hyacinth dress uh, yeah. Chloe did this one and honestly, I love the pictures of her daughter in this dress. Yes, they're darling. This dress is amazing. Like, her craftsmanship on this dress is just stunning. I love, like, her detail on the piping. It's just so, mm -hmm. it's all so beautiful. And then the linen is so, it's such a beautiful. Yep, it was it it's, perfect. It's so beautiful. And I do, I think this hyacinth is just such so a sweet dress. the collar is is adorable. I yeah. love collars. It's a really cute so collar. It's a good collar. And there yeah. is one where it can tie in a bow, and then there's also just, like, a tie one mm -hmm. so there's a that's a little and then also the skirt has this it's just this really 
full tiered skirt, but then there's also a simpler skirt too. Yeah. I love that. Well, I Her love this dress. So oh, yeah, she's, so beautiful. She's yes. gorgeous. Uh -huh. She's so beautiful. And then, yes, for this so, spring so long, I did this, um, this lily is the pattern. This was actually my first pattern that I did for peony. Oh, that's neat. Yeah. And, um, so this, this fabric is romantic roses. Yes. I love your romantic roses. Um, <coughs> I got this from you guys. I don't know what it is. It's a micro, yeah, micro stripe, raspberry micro stripe. But I love the way it kind of pulls in the darker colors and kind of gives it. a little floss, right? I know that's so. I think I know. So yeah, we need to. We can show. We can pull that up. So um, well, and it's funny because I put this together, and once again, Swiss lace that I just love Swiss lace so much. But when I put this Swiss lace on, I was like, oh, I don't love it. Uh, but then I ran the floss through it and I was just yeah. like, mm -hmm. like it just needed that little, yep. that little touch yep. and Bonnie just loves this dress. This is another one where she was That's like, sweet. why are you doing this? This, this, this dress is probably the reason I'm here today is because she's like, don't mail that dress. Oh. <laughs> so when you, when you gathered this little tiny ruffle, uh -huh. how did you do that? Um, when I do the gathers and so this pattern has the little ruffle here and then it actually has a cap sleeve with mm -hmm. the ruffle and mm -hmm. then you can put the ruffle at the neckline too, but I switched out for the lace. Um, that is a tiny, tiny ruffle. Mm -hmm. When I do tiny ruffles like this, I like to use three rows of gathering stitches. Mm -hmm. um, and one is right at the edge, like kind of like one, I don't know, like a fourth of the way, like less than a fourth, probably inch in. And then one that is just barely shy, like mm -hmm. three eighths, I would say, because I want it to go, I want both of those to go inside the seam allowance. Mm -hmm. But then I will take one more and I'll put it way over here. And so when I pull those, I get a really nice, mm -hmm. like it sits mm -hmm. it really well. And then after I sew it in, I'll pull out the one that mm -hmm. was like far out. And then that way yeah. it So that is, it just keeps holds, it, holds it in place while you're... It holds yeah. it so much better mm -hmm. in place. And and I don't always, I mean... So do you gather that one that's in, mm -hmm. that's visible? Yeah, I pull all section? three, I'll, mm -hmm. I'll pull all three threads together. So they all like kind of accordion the whole mm -hmm. thing together mm -hmm. so it is almost like a full strip of just like gather but it just it keeps it really nice i mean th sewing three gathering stitches is not awesome it's not fun it's not but that bad it's not that bad well yeah. and when you're doing it on just yeah. like a waistband yeah. it's yeah. if you're doing it like on a full skirt or like the third like dahlia mm -hmm. has three tiers yeah, on the skirt that, you get a so once you, once you get down yeah. to that bottom tier yeah. i would not suggest three rows of gathering stitches mm -hmm. but on something where you're anytime i'm working with detail Mm -hmm. Um, I try to pull in the oh, three. I love the tiny, the little tiny. Yeah, I love that this, the That's tiny sweet. ruffles on this dress. I think it just adds to the little bit. What's the back look like? It's just got, so. it sits really pretty. Um, look, it has buttons. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, it's here. I don't know where we want it. There we go. Um, it has, so the back, the, the whole neckline on Lily kind of sits just a little bit. Like a slightly more scoop than a mm -hmm. lot of them. So it just has a slightly more open, which I just feel like has a really just kind of like soft romantic feel to it. I think this neckline and this top would be really sweet in like an A-line nightgown. Mm -hmm. Oh, that would be Well, Wouldn't and that people have actually used it when we've done um, like costume things or yeah. like mm -hmm. even wedding week. People have kind of used it to make those more like Regency. Yes. Like you can add, yeah. we have the petunia oh, sleeve. Right. Um, the petunia has this really cute little mm -hmm. puff sleeve. Mm -hmm. um, so you can add the petunia sleeve to it because most of our sleeves are interchangeable. And they've used that to kind of just give it that really... And then add the maxi skirt from... Yeah. Like, like um, period piece sewing. Yeah, like Ivy like or, or even Juniper has a really pretty maxi skirt. Mm -hmm. So you could actually switch them out. And you it does give a really pretty like period piece. You could turn it into a little slip. Yes. Because this is low enough that it's not going to show up. That's on, true. On here. No, be for really, sure. Because really you'd be able sweet. to hide it under most yeah. things. I love that. I, yeah. th this is a real pretty neckline to me. I, I love this neckline, um, especially because it, it, and it gives enough that you can add like a lot of, mm -hmm. like the lace details mm -hmm. or the ruffle. It mm -hmm. does, like the pattern includes the ruffle detail. Yeah. And it, it has enough opening that you can have the ruffle or the lace detail without it feeling like it's too green. Right. What's the name of this pattern again? Lily. Lily. Okay. Yeah. And it, yeah, it was my first that's, one. That's sweet. Mm -hmm. I love Mary this one. Dickens says, I love all the dresses. Any girl would feel like a princess. Oh, yeah. Mary, thank you. Mary's one of our ladies from the local area. Yeah. Yeah. I recognize it. Um, I think this is the last one we have, which this is not one of your guys' fabrics. Sorry. But it's Liberty. But it's Liberty. So, <laughs> it's liberty. Liberty. We, have lots so, of liberty. so we love okay. it. Um, I know Liberty Lawn is like, yeah, I just love mm -hmm. Liberty. And um, 
but this is clementine where we can i can yeah i don't know where you want there we go um and i love clementine and when we're talking about spring sewing i had to bring clementine it's a really nice like obviously summer sundress but it's so sweet for springtime um it has these like pockets and you can do the contrast on the pockets it's so cute and um so you, it has a little them. spot where you can do the embroidery mm -hmm. And then the other really fun thing about that, here, I'm going to flip it. There we go. Um, the back, once again, look. No, Well, it has the buttons down the front. So you don't have to put a pocket in yeah. it. Um, but it has these really cool um, elastic, um, gathered elastic mm -hmm. straps mm -hmm. and the elastic back. So the fit on it is really comfortable mm -hmm. for girls. Um, and I picked a couple. I was like, yeah. I picked a couple of your spring fabrics that I thought would just be so sweet in this print or in this pattern like you could do the pink and then you could just get like a little pop of like linen or something mm -hmm. or those um chambray's that you guys had mm -hmm. in the email today and yeah. just like do a little and you don't have to and actually this also includes a tiny ruffle on the oh, pocket cute. in the yeah. pattern yeah on um, the pocket the little pocket ruffles cute which i would have once again i would do a third gather yeah. stitch just because it really helps you keep control so there's this pink one and then this blue i think would just Love be this. so this is a, yeah. it feels so soft that would be beautiful so i think these would be just beautiful mm -hmm. and then it's nice because you can one thing i really love about you know dresses like this is even though like it works really well for some and sun and summer but in the spring things are starting to get warm but you can still just like wear a little cart like it's easy yeah, you don't have to you're not like stuffing it. sleeves that's, into that's a really, cardigan right. you can just yeah. put it like it's easy enough to layer yeah but i think it's just a, such a sweet spring dress and then also easter egg hunts it has pockets <laughs> yeah <laughs> like, if you find the egg with a 50 dollars bill in it. <laughs> you have a pocket for your 50 dollar bill yeah, egg. <laughs> that's right that's right that's right yeah so yeah love that's, that yeah oh my goodness beautiful yeah well, what a great surprise for you to yeah. come well, today. I'm Thank so you. I'm so glad yes. you guys could have me today. It was yes. really fun. I'm so glad you just like, yeah, come on over. Let's do it. Let's just yeah. do it. Yeah. So. Wonderful. So we're sending you home with some uh, fabrics for your, your peony, pa pa peony patterns challenge. The, mm, Pinterest. the Pinterest challenge. Yep. I'm so, I'm shopping for my Pinterest challenge today and other shopping, obviously. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're here. Because I'm here. <laughs> And this is where all the Swiss lace is. So. That, that's right. That's so they right. need, what's the hashtag they need to share? Um, it's Peony Pinterest Challenge. It's hashtag Peony Pinterest Challenge. Cool. Is the one if you want to pull that. And that'll go out in um, emails. And probably your email, our email. It'll be posted mm -hmm. on our Instagram. We'll be posting it lots of places. So cool. it'll be around. Um, I, I would personally like to thank you. For the wonderful newsletter you sent out, this last one, I, I was just so touched by mm -hmm. that. I mean, it was beautiful, and um, well, we love working with you guys. Well, it's we so love fun. it too. We love it too, and and I mean, it was a little overwhelming. Aww. It was so sweet. <laughs> it really was. It really was sweet. It was beautiful. Yeah, oh, man. Okay. I can't wait to share all of them. I haven't. I know. I've been trying to. You know, our know. team really like. We and have, we have such so a pretty. we have such a good team. I know I was actually feeling really like I, all their pictures kept coming in and I'm just, and I was just like oh they're so pretty. I they know. Are. And we're like I'm like dead winter in Utah and yeah, the light is yeah. gray and everything is gross and I'm just like oh their pictures are so, <laughs> so pretty. Here's a picture of the beach. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I was oh, like oh my goodness. The, the little girl <laughs> in the the green and white striped seersucker. She had like the little duck ribbon and the skirt in her hair. So um, from her picture, we got the idea to use a greenhouse oh, for photography. Yeah, it's smart. Just, yeah, so they're using right, greenhouse. Right. Everything yeah. Was I love that she used those ducks because I love those ducks. I know. It didn't was she, was she picked those mm -hmm. up? I'm going to say she picked those ugly little ducks. I, <laughs> I love those ugly little ducks so much. I'm oh. sorry I call them ugly little ducks, but they are. And they're just so fabulous. They're a vintage. I, they're a vintage. Yeah. I, I they're, want you to know I found those in a barn. A warehouse burning. Oh, I'm not the kidding. Rafters. In the rafters, hanging. Yeah, yeah. in New York, I, many, many years I, ago. I love. I have them in every color, yeah. and I just. Yeah. They just are like. They speak to you. When I they saw do. them, I'm like, oh, I love these. Yes. And, <laughs> and then, of course, I had to buy a hundred thousand yards of all of them. Right. You know, and and then I'm digging through the rafters here yeah. at farmhouse. Yeah, and, that's right. And I come across these little vintage ducks. I'm like, oh, I love uh -huh. these. See, I knew I was <laughs> buying them for you. Yeah, right? you again, were. Lost again. There they <laughs> are in their frillies. Well, it kind of it makes me feel good because sometimes people here think I'm a little bit like. 
weird awesome. for, no, <laughs> weird for the, some of the things I pick. And I'm like, look, Laura liked it. <laughs> like, Laura liked like, it. Laura liked it. Well, there you go. <laughs> yeah. That's just our quote now. When something comes in, Laura must have liked that. Yeah, Laura liked that. Laura liked oh, it. I didn't know. Laura liked it. Something real funny comes in here. Laura liked it. Yeah. <laughs> Laura liked it. <laughs> Oh. oh, I hate to say goodbye. I know. Oh, really. I'm so wonderful. Thank, thank you, come everybody, back. for joining us sure. today. Yes. yes. Thanks for watching. It's just, yeah. No, it's fun. You're welcome anytime. It's fun to get yeah. together. Mm-hmm. It is. And, and talk about pretty things. That's I like know. my thing. I know. <laughs> All right. Peonypatterns.com. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Or peony. Or peony. That was a discussion mm-hmm. we had yeah, today. Yeah. Either I way. I grew up saying peony, but a lot of people grew up saying peony. Yep. So, Either like way. pecan, pecan. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Thank Bye. you. Bye. I made a lot of weird faces. <laughs> I made a lot of weird faces. I made so many weird faces.